It feels like it wasn't that long ago that AMD released Zen 4 and transitioned to LGA sockets. But now, the release of Zen 5 is imminent, with Team Red announcing it'll be out in July. So is Zen 5 worth your excitement? And more importantly, is it worth your hard-earned money? Let's first take a look at cold, hard performance numbers. At least, the ones given to us by AMD. The company has claimed that we're looking at a 16% performance increase over Zen 4 in terms of instructions per clock cycle. And seeing as how the speeds in megahertz are similar to what we got with Ryzen 7000, that should hopefully translate to a somewhat comparable average performance increase, though this will depend heavily on the application, with Blender being one of the programs that benefited most dramatically in AMD's internal testing. Team Red says that the IPC improvements are partly due to better branch prediction, which is pretty typical for a new generation of CPU. But there are also improvements away from the CPU dies themselves. For starters, Zen 5 has official support for higher memory speeds. Now you'll be able to set your RAM up to JDEC DDR5 5600 speeds while remaining within warranty. This is up from the 5200 speeds supported by Zen 4. And a new chip architecture also means faster chipsets. So far, AMD has announced the X870 and the X870e, with the main difference being that the latter has a few more usable PCI Express lanes. Perhaps a bit more excitingly, USB 4.0 support is standard on both chipsets as well as support for Wi-Fi 7. The launch lineup will be fairly similar to what we've seen in the past. Two 9 series modules, a 7 series, and a 5 series, with the core counts also being the same, but with lowered TDPs outside of the very top end 9950X, which makes sense considering Zen 5 is on a smaller process node than Zen 4. But there's something on the laptop side that's significantly different from what we've seen from AMD before, and we'll tell you what that is right after we thank Pulseway. Have you ever left your computer to do something while you leave for the day, only to come back and find your computer has crashed? Pulseway wants to free you from these kinds of headaches. With Pulseway, you have your own IT sidekick right in your pocket. Using your smartphone, you can monitor your system and automate issue resolutions. You can even troubleshoot problems before they rear their ugly heads, which means you can just go about living your life. Imagine that. So free yourself from your desk today and try Pulseway for free by clicking on the link in the description. The first couple Zen 5 mobile CPUs will have different branding than in the past, as they're going to be called Ryzen AI, and you guessed it, these CPUs are going to have integrated neural processing units, or NPUs, in order to compete with both Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X chips, as well as upcoming Intel chips that will also have more of a focus on AI. These Ryzen AI NPUs will support up to 50 trillion operations per second, or TOPS, making them over three times as powerful as the NPUs we got with the Ryzen 8000 series, and more than strong enough to officially support Windows Copilot Plus features, including that controversial Windows Recall function. Assuming, of course, Microsoft actually releases it at some point. Two high-end mobile chips will be available at launch, one with 12 cores and another with 10. So would we recommend buying a Zen 5 chip or a laptop with one included this summer when they hit the market? Well, you do get a nice little performance bump, but seeing as the last Zen 4 already had optional support for newer standards like PCI Express 5.0 and USB 4, we don't think they're an absolute must buy if you've already upgraded recently. And the general attitude toward AI these days seems to be rather negative, especially considering there isn't yet a super compelling use case for local NPUs on desktops or laptops. But if you do want Microsoft's AI features on a traditional x86 system, then have at it. Microsoft has announced that Copilot Plus will be getting GPU support in the future, and other AI tasks tend to run quite well on GPUs. But laptops save power running them on NPUs, hence the current focus on getting them into notebooks. What do you think about Zen 5? Are you gonna be checking it out for your next upgrade? Let us know down in the comments, and if you wanna know more about one of Zen 5's biggest competitors, go watch this video next.